All right, another set of cardio and cords today. So let's get you guys warmed up. Um, start with the speed skater. We got one minute intervals today. Remember to work at your own pace. If you ever need to take a break, grab a drink, whatever, that's fine. Our goal here is to really warm you up laterally, um, not mean side to side, because um, about half of the cardio items today are lateral movements, okay? Again, try to sweep that leg up, sweep that arm, the whole body movement here. So glad you joined this workout today. Hope you guys are up and moving today, that's important. If you do this work on the day that it's posted in Missouri, it's going to be nice and rainy, so it'll be a good day to be inside. Remember, abs are tight no matter what. Please crank your tunes on your own end. Um, I didn't add any music, but please do. All right, low impact drop out. So you're gonna put your hands on the floor. You're gonna walk your legs out, walk them back in, bring them up a big shoulder roll. What we're gonna do is on the bottom end, we're gonna actually add a tap. So you're gonna walk out, you're gonna tap right, tap left, and then walk in. Big arm roll. And again, big arm roll here. Remember, abs are super tight. I know I can't emphasize that enough. It helps protect your back. It's so important to warm up, get your body prepared for the workout that's coming. Yeah, we want to just hop in and jump. Unless, of course, I guess you're like 10, maybe you can do that. <laughs> All right, bring it up. So we're gonna start with side to side squats here on this next one. Make sure that when you do these that you're setting your weight back on your heels. Your knees are always this side of your toes. So this is a good squat, and this is not a good squat. So if you can, take a look at yourself. If your knees go forward, really try to sit back like you're sitting in a chair. Hope you're cranking some good tunes right now. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> As you get more and more warmed up, you can get a little bit lower. All right, knees up. You're gonna go four, three, two, and then switch knees. Four, three, two, one, adding some arms. Bring that heart rate up gently here. Think about a nice, tall, tall spine. Your abs are pulled in. Great job, guys. Almost there. Awesome. Okay, so you're gonna do a speed skater, okay? but you're gonna lift up and extend that leg. Speed skate, lift up. We're not adding a hop, just that side motion with the kick, working on your balance. We are gonna add that balance aspect here in a little bit. Makes me laugh, if you see me looking down, there used to be a big piece of furniture here, so the floor is all lumpy. <laughs> So I'm having to kind of pay attention a little bit. If you see me trip and fall, we can all get a good big laugh out of that one. <laughs> I 
I guess at least there'd be a reason for the fall, right? <laughs> impact dropouts okay so you're again walking out tapping side to side bringing it in and then big arm circle good abs really tight as you do this I'm in my basement today see all my husband's camouflage in the background here this is his little area of storage. As you do this, try to keep your shoulders over your hands. It's really easy to start to cheat and have your hands, you know, back here. Probably need to do a few arm circles forward instead as well. Warm it up. All right, next one, side to side squats. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer. You're able to get a little bit deeper. But remember today it's your workout, so you do whatever you need it to be. Um, not everybody's gonna do the crazy hops and the tough jumps and whatever else. You know, you can always do anything we're doing without a hop. It's really just about moving that body and keeping that heart healthy. Remember sitting back like you're sitting in a chair. Great job guys. Keep up the good work. Four knees each side. So our last interval, and then we're actually gonna get to the workout. Hopefully you feel warmed up. Really reach those arms up there. Make this as big of a motion as you can. there. There you go. First interval for plank jacks. So I want you to come down um, to your hands or your elbows. Okay. If you have wrist issues, you're welcome to be on your elbows. And what you're going to do is you're going to hop out, hop in. Now, if you'd like low impact, you can simply step and just tap out side to side. What you really wanna do is be careful that you pull your abs and support your spine so your hips are not bouncing a lot, okay? And if you wanna all out do more cardio than core, you're welcome to speed that up. These intervals are a full minute long, so if you would like to take, you know, if we'll go 45 seconds and then grab a drink, you know, it's your workout. Do what you need to do. Keep going, keep going. I'm seeing what's next. <laughs> so then we're going back to back here. Shoulders right over the hands. Fantastic. Speed skaters next. So we're gonna modify the speed skater. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do three of these, two, and then hop up with one leg. So go three of them, pop and balance here, up with one leg. Three, two, hold, knee up. Three, two, hold, knee up. Three, two, hold, knee up. Great job. Really try to get that lift. Now if you wanna do it low impact, you know, you could just lift that knee. You could always just slide slide, lift the knee, slide, 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 lift the knee instead of the hopping, right? 
Land with that soft knee. If you can, really try to explode up though. Boom. Gotta love myself sound effects, right? All right, sprawling sit-ups. You're gonna lay on your back like you're in a jumping jack. Then you're gonna come up and tuck. Lay back, come up and tuck. If you're feeling seriously out of breath, it's a great time to grab a drink instead. Draw that belly button to the spine before you lift up. Breathe out as you lift. If you want to make this harder, the legs stay off the floor the whole time. It's up to you. If you need to make it easier, you can bring one knee into the chest instead of both at the same time. It's always an option. Keep going great. Awesome. Hopping up. Volleyball hops, okay? So you're gonna slide, jump up. Slide, jump up. It's like you're blocking in volleyball. If you want low impact, you can just lift, right? Make it a big movement without the hops. It's killing me right now. Somebody is making bacon upstairs and the smell is drifting down. <laughs> Guys are doing great. Remember your low impact options if you need them. You can just lift a knee, right? Lift a knee. And anytime you need to get a drink, grab a drink. All right, mountain climbers are next. So if you're gonna be in that plank position, and you're gonna alternate your knees into the chest, but you wanna go quick if you can. Again, abs are really, really tight, that's so important. Try to keep your shoulders over your hands. If you need to take a break and just pause or do a low impact, do that. Abs are tight. If you fatigue, grab a quick drink. Keep breathing. Remember as we start to get tired, we start to shift back. So bring those shoulders back over the hands if you can. If you need to pick up the pace here at the end. Great job guys. Shuffle is our next one. So whatever room you can, whatever you've got, shuffle side to side. Staying low is gonna make it harder. Awesome. You can make it quicker. Low impact folks, you could just step, right? So your workout again. Woo! Making it your own. So at the end of this one, we're gonna take a quick drink break. If you don't want the break, do some jumping jacks on the intercession. All right, you got a one minute break, or again, if you don't want a break, do some jumping jacks. We're gonna run through this cardio set again. You guys are doing great. Remember water is really important to keep you feeling good. Again, start to feel like you don't wanna take that long of a break. Start throwing some jumping jacks in or low tap heels, whatever you need.
good work, guys. Abs are tight, knees are soft. Okay, next interval, plank jack, starting from the top. Whew, hands under the, over the shoulders. Taking it out, taking it in. Remember, do what you need to do here to modify, low impact, tapping, right? And you can also be on elbows if you have wrists that are not happy sometimes. Now, I keep looking at the image here, but when you're doing these, you wanna be looking at your wrist to keep your head neutral. Try not to keep, try not to look up or down or just right at your wrist. Awesome job, guys. If you need to slow that pace down, focus on the core, do that. Elbows are soft. Or picking up your pace. You can mix it up, two out, two in. Awesome job. Speed skaters with a hop. So we're gonna go three, two, one, hop up. Three, two, one. One, pop up. Great job. Think about how you're feeling. Do you need it to be more intense or do you need to take it down a level? You want it to be heart pounding, right? But not so strenuous you can't, can't finish. So if you need that little extra, Throw that big hop in there, make these really wide and explosive, or take it down, lift the knee. Take it down, lift the knee, right? Whenever you need it. I know I always say that, but that's how we work with group X classes, right? So you make the workout whatever you need it to be, especially for the day or the week or whatever it happens to be. Awesome, sprawling setups. Whew. All right, so you look like you're doing a jumping jack on the floor. Hands are out, feet are out. Come up and tuck. All right, to make this harder, what you can do is let your feet hover over the floor. Now remember that you don't wanna hurt your low back. If you feel strain there, you need to put those feet back on the floor. If you wanna make it a little easier, you can one leg tuck at a time. Focus on breathing, don't hold your breath. I've seriously missed you guys in the gym. So if you would, post a sweaty picture when we get in. We all feel like we're home together. Fantastic, all right. So volleyball jumps, you're gonna slide and then jump. Slide, jump. Again, like you're trying to walk a volleyball. If you want low impact, Lift the knee, just lift the knee. I know some people in class are not really big on jumping a lot, so this is a great one to modify. Maybe if you need the extra, you can also make this transition quicker, right? More explosive. We are going for endurance today, back to back. Land with those soft knees. Whew. Good work today, guys. All right, next one are mountain climbers. So come on down. Alternate your knees in. Remember, pull your abs in, brace that core. You want to be strong through that core. If you need to modify this, you can do it without the hop. You can also be on your elbows and take the knees out to the sides or just simply tap out to the sides. 
Those are all good options. Dang, I'm thinking maybe this might have been better to have 45 on and 15 seconds rest. Woo! You guys are doing great. Take that break if you need it, but try to work through it too. Keep that heart strong. Awesome. Woo! Okay, so shuffling side to side. Low impact side steps. All right. If this is not intense enough, get lower, get a little quicker. We've made it almost through two rounds. Woo, good work, y'all. Again, at any time you need to grab a drink and a break, Take one, we're gonna take one right after this interval though, so try to finish this one. Can you get lower, can you get faster for the last little bit? Nice work, grab a drink, or if you don't wanna take a break, throw in some jumping jacks. You are doing great. You know what's awesome today is there's light coming in from the window, which is just wonderful to see, to see the sunshine because it's rained so much lately. Whew, nice work guys. So we're gonna go one more round through, okay? And then we're gonna focus all on the abs. Again, the jacks are optional. I can throw some high knees in here. Whew, just getting ready for that next interval. One last drink. And then I'm gonna have to go up and have some bacon. Hopefully there's some left. <laughs> All right, side jacks. Let's go. Again, you can go fast or you can go slow no matter what your abs are in. You never want to have your low back like arching out, okay? So if you, if you need to, lift your hips a little higher than normal, but don't arch. You want to preferably be completely flat. If you're working out with a partner or your kids, they can, you guys can do spot checks on each other and check your form. Elbows are soft. You guys are doing great with this endurance workout today. Abs are coming. Great job coming up. Speed skater with one hop up. So we're going three, two, one, hop up. This is great work on balance. So if you want low impact, but you still want like a bit of a challenge, add a leg extension. So you go three, two, and then leg extension. Three, two. Otherwise adding that hop, if you need that little extra to get your cardio in. Great job, guys. Remember to land softly on that knee. Both knees. <laughs> Great job. Sprawling setups are one cardio ab exercise. So, going down, going up. It's up to you what you make of this. If you want one knee in, It's a great option. Remember always paying attention to your low back. Pull the abs in. A lot of times people focus on 
the motion and not on their core. So think about drawing that belly button in, keeping it drawn as you do this big movement. Ball jumps. Last time, guys. Give it all you got. Low impact. Lift the knee, right? Making it a big arm movement. This is another one you could do a kick on um, for low impact to increase that intensity without having to add the hops. Good job, y'all. Can you go a little higher? Can you go a little faster? What is your best today? <laughs> Mountain climbers, two more minutes and we are done with cardio. All right. As you do this, remember shoulders right over your hands, okay? If your wrists bother you, come down to your elbows. Then you can do like some side knees, okay, which are similar. You can also do this without impact and just step, bring the knee in. Great job, guys. Eyes looking at your wrist to keep that head neutral where it needs to be. Driving those knees to the chest. If you can, keep that booty down. You wanna be flat as the board, so when you do these, you wanna be flat. Try not to have your booty way up in here. If you need to modify and do that though, and just to keep moving, do it. Last cardio, shuffling. So I'm gonna tell you now, I know a lot of y'all, are really fit and you need a little bit more. So feel free to rewind and then to do this, you know, one more set of this or two more sets of it um, to fit your needs today. Or go outside and enjoy a run or a walk. It's gonna be a nice day for it. Well, I guess it will be today, but tomorrow, I guess when you're gonna actually get to see this posted, it's gonna be raining all day, isn't it? Whew. Last set of cardio here, but we do some abs. Do you need to go lower and go faster, or do you need to take the hop out and just step? Oh, good work, guys. Grab a drink. We need to let the heart rate come down a little bit. Try your best to keep your feet moving a little, just to let the heart rate come down slowly. Hopefully you've got some water to grab for your drink. Again, we got a minute here, then we hit the abs. If you still feel like your heart rate is absolutely racing, pause the video, grab some extra drinks, enjoy a little bit of downtime, okay, before we do our abs. So we have four ab exercises today. Rolling through in one minute intervals. Again, it's your workout. You do whatever you need to have it be today. Get heart rate coming down. All right. So we're gonna start with crunches. Just the traditional crunches, okay? You wanna bring your chest up. Shoulder blades are coming off the floor, lifting up just about 45 degrees. When you do this, use your abs, not your hands, to lift yourself up. Right now, what you're working is rectus abdominis right down the center. Breathe 
every time you lift. Nice, slow and controlled. If you tend to pull a lot on your head, you can put your arms across your chest. Okay, if this is just way too easy, of course by the end it won't be, but if it is way too easy, you're welcome to bring your arms overhead. That's gonna lengthen the lever. Now keep in mind, if you're lifting and bringing them forward, that actually just made the exercise easier than it would be to have your hands here because weight on the end of a lever is gonna make it harder um, for that fulcrum. So there's a little science lesson for your kids if they're doing this with you. Okay, rotating side to side. Sorry, there's a science teacher coming out in me. As you're rotating now, you're working through the sides of the waist, the obliques. Try to lead with your shoulder. Okay, what you don't wanna do is bring that elbow across because you're probably pulling on your head. Okay, so leave that elbow back in your peripheral vision. Again, you have the option of putting the arms across the chest and rotating. Okay, you could also reach up to mix this exercise up. Remember, sometimes it's important to, to really think about squeezing and not just lifting up. So think about the size of the waist, you really squeeze. Awesome, okay. So we're gonna do um, side extensions, okay? Legs are straight out in front of you, or um, out to the side. What you're gonna do is reach and touch your ankle. And now there's a couple ways to make this exercise um, easier, okay? One is to do just a single leg lift on the top, bottom leg is down, or if you just wanna bend both legs and lift and reach, okay? So it's up to you what you wanna do on that. Just keeping this arm, just not doing anything at all, okay? Palm is up, it's gonna help that. All right. If you don't care for this exercise, um, for some people, like it bothers their hip on the bottom, you're welcome to go back to that previous exercise and go and just rotate again. No worries, we're gonna get a whole minute on each side here. Awesome. Switching sides. So again, reaching long. Legs are off the floor, both of them off the floor the entire time to make it the hardest exercise possible. If you wanna make it the intermediate version, bottom leg is on the floor. Gonna reach for that ankle with just one leg in and out. Or you can just lift up. Okay, remember use your abs to lift. I know that bottom arm is, tends to wanna to be used here, but try to use, use the abs to lift yourself up. You guys are doing great. Awesome. Regular crunches, all right? So lifting up and down. Use your abs. We're gonna mix this one up a little bit this time. I want you to pulse three and then down on four. So three, two, one, and then release. Three, two, one. And release that'll intensify that a bit. Hopefully you're feeling that right down the center. Remember to relax your head into your fingertips. Breathe as you lift. Doing great, guys. If you feel tension in your head or neck, you're welcome to do bottom end crunches, okay, for a little bit. Think about pulling those hips in. All right, if you're not feeling tightness in your head or neck, go ahead and rotate side to side. If 
Think about squeezing through the sides of the waist. One way I find that helps not putting stress on my neck is to reach up like you're climbing a rope. It's another great option for this one. Great job, keep breathing. Take a break if your neck gets too tight. And then quick, Woo, feel that burn, good. All right, side crunches, here we go. You guys are doing great, don't forget to breathe. Well done, well done, keep it up. Good work, guys. Good work. Woo. All right, switching it over. Hitting the other side. Fantastic. Good work, guys. Remember those modifications, right? You can do these with one leg. Forgot to mention that on the other side. Or two legs down, right? Okay. Do what's best for you. Fantastic. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm still feeling the need to do some more abs. So, knees up. What I want you to do is think about pulling the hips into the rib cage. Okay? So what you're not doing is, is this, you're not doing a big knee movement in and out. What's doing is, is all your motion is initiated from the hips. Because what happens is to work the rectus abdominis, you have to do spinal flexion. You have to curve your spine. And this is working hip flexors. Okay? So think about curving your spine. Right now, I'm just relaxing the upper body because we did a lot of crunches, normal crunches. If you feel the need to put that back in there, you're welcome to throw that in there. But just really initiate this from the bottom end. Feel that. Draw that navel toward the spine. You're not gonna like flatten out your back totally, but, but that's kind of your feel here, is to curl in. Try not to use your arms. Let them just hang out. Awesome, well that went fast. Okay, so now, one more set. Knees are over your hips, and what I want you to do is extend out and pull back in. Okay, now what you're doing here is, it's kind of like a Pilates exercise. So we are working hip flexors, okay? But you're bracing your core and not letting your core move as you move those legs in and out, okay? So it's a little bit of a different move motion here. More of a stability. If you want to add the upper body, you can, just holding it up. Now, I find myself starting to cheat and getting my knees too close to my body. Try to keep them out there, over your hips or further that way. We're going to finish this set out, do a one minute plank, and we're done with abs. It'll be time to stretch. You guys are doing great. You can pull the abs in, brace that core. Hopefully you feel those in your abs. Whew. All right, flip over one minute plank, guys. Let's do it. Elbows, hands, whatever you need. Um, this is the basic plank. Um, if you'd like to drop your knees, feel free to do that. 
Um, no matter what, your back should be flat. Abs are in. So focus on pulling in here. Eyes are looking at your wrist. Focus on those good breaths in and out. Keep breathing. Imagine someone pulling your head and lengthening out your spine. Again, if you need to modify knees down on the floor, if your knees are down, toes are down as well to um, disengage those hamstrings and that low back tension. You guys are doing great. A couple more seconds and we're gonna stretch. You know, we're gonna be done with this part. Imagine pushing away with your elbows, opening up across the chest. Awesome. Let's get you guys stretched out. Whew. One leg in, one leg out. All right, chest is up tall. Lean forward from the hips. Make sure there, that this leg is straight, but there's some softness in the knees as you lean. You guys are great today. Um, general reminder, make sure you get plenty of water, okay? And um, anytime you're doing stretching, you wanna find a point of mild discomfort. Go ahead and switch. It should never be painful but you do want that mild discomfort to try to increase your range of motion to uh, become better flexible. So that's so important. All right, let's stretch out through those hips, one leg forward. When my cross is over, hug it in. We did a lot of lateral motion today, so we definitely need to stretch out through the hips and glutes. Go ahead and switch. Hope that you and your family are doing well. Um, don't forget, um, Brooke is posting some workouts as well, so I hope that you can enjoy some of both of the workouts, and she's kind of playing a game with hers, which is awesome, so I hope that you'll join in with that fun um, and how many rounds that you're completing and stuff like that, so that's really, really fun. All right, runner's lunge. So as you do this, you want to try to keep your knee right over your ankle. Okay, if you want your back knee down, that's fine. If you feel the stretch better um, with the knee up, um, that's fine as well. Um, again, as long as your knee alignment is good. Try to shift forward and feel that through the hip flexor. You can ignore all, um, ignore all those buzzers, um, but I can't really stop them now since I've got my video going. Just a random buzzing happening. All right, let's switch sides. Again, whatever stretch um, finds that mild discomfort for you is what you want to have here. I find that lengthening the chest really helps get that good feel through the hip flexor. I hope again that you're jamming to some great tunes right now. All right, push it up. Calf stretch. So what you want to do is you want to have your feet like on railroad tracks, okay? So they're in a parallel line here. And then bend that front knee and shift the hips to you feel that calf stretch. And since we're here, we might as well, you know, stretch out the chest, kind of get two for one. Remember, stretching is so important. Um, range of motion in life is, is going to help you prevent injuries. Go ahead and switch. Bend that front knee and shift your hips forward to feel that calf stretch. Let's bring both arms up, stretching up long. It's important to have a good variety in your workout. Um, I tried to plan these videos so that you kind of alternated between strengthening and then like the cardio and core. Um, I didn't want you to have like push-ups every day or, or anything like that. All right, quad stretch. Knees are close together, abs are pulled in, chest is tall. Of course, if you know me very well, we're gonna have some kind of legs most of the days. Um, most of the days, 
Of course, that's what get your that's what gets your heart rate up, right? Is the big muscle groups in your legs. So, go ahead and switch. Whew. I'm still sweating. I hope you are too. Again, you guys were fabulous today. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you get some water and feel free to, again, um, make every day your own workout. So make those changes as you need them to be. Have a great day.